name is Melissa Robel. I am a lecturer three in the BME department at Michigan. So I am a University of Michigan alum. I actually did my bachelor's degree here in material science engineering. And then after that, I went to grad school um, in Wayne State in downtown Detroit, where I got involved with um, studying peripheral nerve regeneration and neuroinflammatory responses to biomaterials, especially natural polymers. When I was in grad school, I spent some time um, learning about teaching and learning and studying pedagogy kind of on the side as just sort of a side interest and knew I wanted to pursue teaching afterwards. So right from grad school, I started applying for lecturing positions and was rehired in this department. So far, I have been involved with um, BME 221, which is the Biophysical Chemistry and Thermodynamics course. It's a course I'm going to continue to teach in the future. I have also been involved with BME 450, which is the one semester senior design class. And also this fall, for the first time, I will be involved with BME 241, which is the introductory lab. I'm open to teaching many courses, and I hope to get to do some more. As a lecturer, I don't actually have a research appointment of any kind. Um, my job is simply to teach in the department and provide service to the department in the form of um, being on committees. Um, one of the committees I'm on is the curriculum committee, so suggesting changes and restructuring to the curriculum, make sure we're keeping up with what industry and other institutions are doing. However, I hope to get involved in some education research, so trying to figure out how best students are learning, um, using my courses as examples to kind of try out some things and test them out on the students, um, and maybe get interest, like, involved in research in that facet. The fact that it's super diverse, the fact that I'm going to go talk to other, my colleagues, my other faculty members, and I'm going to hear vastly different stories than what I did in grad school or what I did leading up to this point. Everyone has a really big background, and you can do a lot of different things with it. We don't understand all of biology or all of the human body yet, and so I like that it's a continual challenge. Like, the research that we have to do, it's never going to stagnate. It's never really going to die because we still just don't know everything. Like, If you are interested in BME, you should try to talk to as many people in BME as you possibly can. When I was an undergraduate here, I had interest in BME, and I talked to one advisor in the engineering college, and unfortunately she dissuaded me. And lo and behold, 12 years went by, and now I'm back in this department at Michigan in BME because it was what I wanted to do the whole time anyway. BME is super diverse, so you'll talk to other faculty in our department and you'll hear people had an EE background, they have an ME background, a chemi background, and then they work on really specific research and there's sometimes almost no overlap, which is great because the department itself is super interdisciplinary. If you can talk to different people who are doing as many different things as in BME, you might find that there's a place for you and that you didn't really know what BME was until you 